In this video, we are going to learn about how we know what stars are made of. Our guiding question for this video is, what can visible light tell us about what stars are made of? So, when we last left off together, we found out that there's light from distant stars and galaxies coming towards us and that our telescopes can collect a lot of different information on very different wavelengths and that our eye can only see this very narrow band of visible light. Yet the telescopes we've invented have shown us galaxies in very different ways. For today's lesson, we're going to really focus in on that visible light spectrum. Those lights that Roy G. Biv that we learned about last class period. So looking at that visible light, again, we're going to look at our question, what can visible light tell us about what stars are made of? And focusing on the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet that our eyes can detect. So first off, we need to review that when we talk about what things are made out of, we know that there are 118 known elements in the universe. And we organize them on something called the periodic table. And some of the common ones you may know are hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, helium, neon, maybe some of these like iron and copper. So we're going to be looking at elements that we find here on Earth and figure out what the sun, maybe, or other stars are made out of. So first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what the light looks like from known gases. So you may have done this in the classroom or you're going to do it depending on where you're at in today's lesson. Um, we have this known gas, hydrogen, and we can put it into a power source and make it emit a light. And this light, we're going to have it send through some silts to make sure it goes all in the same direction. And then we're going to send that light through a prism. And when we spread that light out, we find out that there's actually different colors and what we call this color spectrum. And we get a little, put that on a detector, and we find out that hydrogen's emission spectra emissions meaning what colors it's sending out, line up against a red, a green, a blue, and a purple. So essentially this silts, slits, and this prism is really the machine we used when we hooked it up to the computer to find out what colors were being emitted. Or when you looked through it, when you looked through it with this device. So essentially these slits in this prism was this box that you use when you looked at the light in class. So now we know when we look at hydrogen, we get these colors. Okay. So now let's look at a star. So we have a star coming through and its light is also going to shine through similar devices that we used in class. We can use either one. And what we find out is that the light from the sun has almost all of the colors of the rainbow except a few. We call these absorption lines, meaning they got absorbed, they disappeared. We don't see colors from sun, stars and our sun at different lines. And we're gonna call that the sun's absorption spectra. Or we don't necessarily need it to be for our sun, it can be for any star. Okay. So next, we can use this information to find out what a star is made out of. So let's see how that's done. Let's take our star's absorption spectra that we got from our sun or our star. And we find out it's got these elements in it. We also know, we also know 
what hydrogen's sun colors are. So this is our known hydrogen. And what we find out is that they line up. So we have a line here that lines up with the line from hydrogen. We have a line absorption line that lines up with what we know hydrogen has. And we have a line here that we know lines up with what hydrogen has. So just to show you again, the lines match. Okay, and when these lines match, we know what the star is made of. In this case, this star has hydrogen in it. So let's see how this is done. To do this at a more detailed level, we take away all the colors and then we just assume this is red over here and this is violet over here and all these black lines are the spectras of the different elements and then this is what our star is. Remember our goal is to see what lines up. So here's our mystery star spectra right here. We want to know what's in this star. Here's our knowns. We have lithium, abbreviated as Li, and we know that their emission spectras are right here, these spots. Hi H, which is hydrogen, has these four lines. Helium has these lines. And sodium, abbreviated as Na, has these lines. So what we want to do is we want to figure out which ones of these are in this star. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's first look for lithium. So I'm going to draw a line. See, I know lithium should have a line that matches with this one. Mm, not there. Let me check this one just in case because this is kind of close. Maybe if I drew a better straight line that would have matched. So let me check this one. Nope, doesn't match. So I know that lithium is not in our mystery star. Let's check hydrogen. Let's see, let's draw a straight line down. I'm gonna show you in a different color here. Mm, so far, let's check the other ones. Yep, let's check the other ones. Okay, in order for there to be that element, we need to have all of the lines line up with our unknown. Yep, Hi, it looks like helium is in there because we had all the lines line up and match our known with our unknown. Let's check the others. Let's check hydrogen. Let's see, we got that line, yep, that matches. Let's see that line, yep, it matches, matches. And finally that last line, pretty sure it's gonna match. So, so far we know that helium and hydrogen are in our mystery star. Let's check sodium. Let's check sodium. Sodium has this line. Mm, seems to be missing. Let's check this other line. Seems to be missing. Also missing. Got three missings. I think we're pretty confident that this in fact does not have sodium in it. So what we can conclude about this star is that this star is made of hydrogen and helium. This is what you're going to do in your assignment today.